thought I saw a panda. My name's Greg, um, and uh, yeah, so I um, I drive a Fiat Panda, 1.2 litre uh, Easy uh, model, 2014 white. It's uh, pretty cool. I kind of uh, run a Fiat Panda enthusiasm club, which is uh, pretty cool. It's pretty uh, fun. It's pretty. Um, you know, I've been doing that for about a year full time. I quit my old job, obviously, um, and I kind of do this now. Um, and it's all, it's all good, it's all good. Greg, the 27 year old leading member of the Fiat Panda community in London. A seemingly boring car for the ordinary is made exciting by the passion of the enthusiasts. We follow Greg through a snapshot of his life as he struggles with the balance of passion for the ordinary and social acceptance. In the end, does it become all too much for the average enthusiast? Here we are at my uh, my mum's house, but you know, I'll show you the space where all the magic happens and the Fiat Panda enthusiasm. Is the club popular? Yeah, well, you know, we're only a year in, so it's as expected, you know, how popular the club is. You know, it's, it's me, obviously, as a member. Um, you know, I got that gold, gold membership. Um, I'm just trying to get you on. He's laughing. Um, and uh, he's loving it, really. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's just me at the moment. Oh. Just once you've driven this bad boy, you just don't want to go back to anything else. It's been a couple of weeks since I've driven this. You like it? I'm really trying yeah. to push to the younger generation of Fiat Panda drivers to try and call them in, get them in, involved. Check this out. Aircon. You hot? I can cool you down. You know, I drove a Lamborghini the other day. That was good. How does it compare? Well, <sighs> speed-wise, pretty close, actually. Zero to 60, you know what this can do? 12 and a half seconds. 12 and a half seconds. And what's the Lamborghini? I don't know. You know, it doesn't matter anyway. Because I always say, well, I think about the small details like that. Do you know what I mean? So we've got a car meet coming up. Yeah. When's it happening? Well, <laughs> check the website. Greg has organised a meet for the Fiat Panda community at his local car park. He is attempting to spread awareness through his self-made website. Check if there's any new uh, uh, respondents on the uh, good old website. No one yet. No one yet. Check this out. Let me just get it up. Oh, oh, we've had a notification. A website. I mean, it must... look at this. Look at this. Fiat Panda Enthusiasm Club. So good. So good. Oh, check this website out. There's some blogs I've written. You know, we've got to go. We've got to go. Don't you worry. Oh, fit and a baby. See that? That's a little warning sign they put out of place. To tell people when a panda's coming along. Because sometimes people get a bit starstruck by it. Mitchell, Greg's friend, decides to join him at the car park in his Nissan Note. This is what the Fiat Panda meets are all about. Mitchell couldn't afford a Fiat Panda.
So we got uh, Mitchell here, good friend of mine, good friend of mine, and uh, he he's you know he's been with me for a while. Uh, he's been coming to these meets, and um, and. Due to the low turnout, Mitchell decides to drive off, leaving Greg alone, in the rain, desperately waiting for more members to show. I love you! 